So I have a, a Craftsman riding mower that I want to try to take some of the oxidation out of the uh, the uh, surface here, the paint job. This thing is like 25, 30 years old, so I'm going to be trying uh, mineral spirits and um, boiled linseed oil. And uh, I'll show you uh, how it works out. Okay, so I have some gloves on. I have a rag to try this with. I have my boiled linseed. I'm going to put about several glugs worth. Some of these mixing things have will kind of tell you a, a general idea of what if you're trying to go for like 60 40. So I have four ounces of that. Um, so I, I probably want if I want 40 40 percent as mineral spirits. I'm going to want to go with another 2% or 2 ounces. So we'll go glug, glug, glug. And this is just an experiment because I heard about it and I heard it works really well on faded plastics. So I'm not going to mess around and try to waste your time. I just figure I'll bring you along for the ride here. I'm going to do the very scientific mixing way and then go back and then go forward. There, that should work. Now, you always want to just test on a on a spot before you try to do the whole thing. So, we'll see how this goes. The whole idea is to just take the oxidation out. Boiled linseed is actually good on metal too. So, it really seems to have um, seems to be cleaning it as it goes too because I think the mineral spirits also helps mineral spirits basically helps clean but also helps to thin the the boiled linseed oil so we're gonna just try this it's not a big deal if it doesn't work but It certainly looks nicer, doesn't it? Just see how long it lasts. We're going to go up to the front, too. I really have nothing to lose on this, so... Okay, so this looks pretty horrible. I don't know if you could tell that, but we're going to try it. And then, you know, we'll try some polishing compound or something on top of it later but this is just to kind of take the oxidation off first we're going to kind of go before and after sides so this side will be the after and then the other one will be the before I'm going to try to watch that I don't go over the uh well, maybe I'll just go over the label. Who cares? <laughs> Smells good. So, we're just seeing the before and after side. I'm just going over the headlights and everything. I'm not too worried about it. Nothing to lose here. You're not going to hurt it with boiled, boiled linseed oil and mineral spirits. I mean... It's already looks old and dilapidated, so you have nothing to, nothing you can actually hurt on this. I think this is a really thin sheet metal. It feels like kind of feels like a sheet metal. And then if it works, I'm just going to do the other side then too. But we'll let it sit for a while and see what it does I'm also going to go over some of this faded sheet metal too and see if that helps but I mean that looks pretty nice it started off like this and it looks like this so I mean if that maintains any of it that'll be awesome
Let's try the tires too. What the hell? You know, I mean, what does it hurt? It probably won't hurt, right? I mean, it's wet right now, so it might not dry quite as pretty as this. This is just wet, so it just looks kind of nice as it's wet. All right, let's try this too. Let's do a full straight down the middle kind of comparison here, left side and right side. All right, so I did like the entire half of this side of this tractor. I did the sides, I did the seat, I did the steering wheel. Man, the steering wheel looks fantastic. Can't believe it. And now you can see where the, the side that I didn't do, it, it still looks like kind of really worn out. Really oxidized. See, and then I get back over to this side. And this is not with wax or polish. This is with boiled linseed oil and um, mineral spirits. I did the tires. And then I went, I, I let it sit on there for about five minutes and then I took a clean, um, a clean dry rag and just wiped off the excess and obviously proof is in the pudding on how long this lasts but for right now it looks really nice so I uh, wiped off the excess linseed oil and uh, it's looking a heck of a lot better now It really revitalized some of the kind of rubber stuff too. It looks like redder and things just look more vibrant. We'll just see how long it lasts. 